Shalom, hi, this is Jerusalem Jane. May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion pronounced that the state of Israel was not born but was reborn. May 14, 2015, right behind me as you see, the Israelis are getting a new government. Benjamin Netanyahu is swearing in a new government as we speak. I'm standing outside Knesset. I really, really wanted to be inside. I just talked to the security people, but uh, my contacts, I couldn't get a hold of my contacts at Likud. So unfortunately, at the last minute, I was not let in. So I am standing here outside uh, Knesset making a small video for you. As you can see, I'm outside Knesset. And right now, Benjamin Netanyahu is swearing in his new government. He succeeded in getting 20 new ministers and not just 18. If you think about what has happened in this nation since 1948, it is absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. If you hear someone talk, it's because I have uh, security guards uh, watching me right now. What this nation has accomplished since 1948, where this was pretty much just a desert, to that this nation today is striving, is stronger, it's better, it's more beautiful, it's more powerful than ever before. The Jewish people never ever cease to amaze me. What they can make, what they can build, what they can develop, what they can create, all the scientists, I mean, if you look at what we use around the world that has been created by Jewish people, it is absolutely mind-blowing. So today, May 14, 19, 2015, I'm sorry, Israel is, is swearing in a new government. And I just want to say congratulations to Benjamin Netanyahu on uh, winning another term as Prime Minister in Israel. Uh, although I have not agreed on every civic decisions you have made, you are still a strong leader here in Israel. I respect you, I stand by you, and I want to wish you all the best. I love Israel and I am forever ever grateful for being able to live here in Israel and to stand with you and to speak up for you. And uh, God bless you all. Bye.